Hi lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked with your Releasing Remnants ritual. Um, I actually came up with this while I was drifting off to sleep um, earlier in the week and thinking about 2016 and thinking about releasing and thinking about how we often think we've released something and then it still pops back up like oh I thought I did this already I thought I worked with this I thought I released this or the things that you release a million times and you know it still comes up so um, I'm calling this releasing the remnants because it is about the imprint that is left behind on things that happen to us, um, whether it be traumatic events, things that we're releasing, things that we're struggling to let go of, um, you know, big psychological imprints, whatever it is. Um, so all you need for this ritual really is a pencil and it has to have an eraser and um, some paper and a lighter. Um, it can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. This is pretty easy and pretty accessible um, to I think just about everyone. You don't have to go out and buy any magical supplies or anything um, unless you choose to. If you want to cast a circle, if that's what you do, you know, north, south, east, and west, the four corners, you know, however it is you do your practice, you can also add that as well and elaborate. Um, but the bare bones of this ritual is, again, the imprints that are left behind. So let's say, for example, and especially since we're coming to the end of the nine year, we're in 2016. 2017 is going to be a one year numerologically. Not that this is only good for this particular time, but any time, um, but especially this time, it's thinking about what have I done or what has happened over the last nine years that just keeps coming up over and over again so that I can fully get down to the remnants, release those, and start anew in this new nine-year cycle. So take some time, really think about it. What am I struggling with? So let's say, for example, um, codependency. Let's say codependent relationships. And as you write down the things that you want to release, make sure as you're writing it that you are pressing hard on the paper with the pencil. You need to press hard enough so that your handwriting bleeds through and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So let's say codependent relationships. Let's say, um, let's say you are really just struggling with a coworker and you can't just seem to let go of this, this fight or disagreement. Let's say comparison is an issue for you. Um, what else? Anything you can think of. So fighting with your children, fighting with your husband. Um, maybe you had an addiction problem or overindulgences. Um, perhaps even you were, let's say you were molested or anything like that. And this is for things that you've already done a significant amount of work on. This is not just um, the end all be all because traumatic things, they take can take a long time. Um, but this is just another way to deal with it. But I do want to say if something traumatic has happened to you, make sure you seek professional help. Um, and this is just a tool to help you after you've done that. Okay. Um, to help you in the healing process. So let's just stick with those three for now. I'm sure everybody has their list. Um, and so I've written it pretty hard, pretty solidly on the paper, right? So codependent relationships, struggling with a coworker in comparison. Now, as you focus on this, you've set your intentions, you know, make sure as you're doing this that you're calling in your angels, your guides, your ancestors, your loved ones in spirit. Again, anything that gets you into a ritual mindset, if you want to like candles, burn incense, um, have candles and incense that relate to releasing, have crystals that relate to releasing, whatever it is, that is up to you. I'm just giving you the bare bone structure. So after you've written your releasing the remnants that you want to release, begin to erase what you've written. And as you're erasing what you've written, thinking about this being removed from your life, think about the healing journey. Think about why it needs to be released. What did this do to you? Why can you no longer bring it with you into the next nine year cycle, into 2017, into whenever you are doing this for? And don't like crazy erase, but just lightly erase. And as you erase again, just focus on each thing you're releasing as you're erasing it. I am erasing it for my life. If you want to come up with a little 
affirmation, I'm releasing this for my best and highest good, I'm releasing what no longer serves me, whatever that is, say it as you erase. And so I've erased, you probably can't see, maybe you can, but as you see, as I've erased, you can still see the remnants of it because I press so hard. So like any traumatic or any big event, anything that leaves an impact on you in your life that you're trying to release, even though you may erase it, even though you may have done the original healing, all of that, it is still leaving an imprint. It has still bled through. It still leaves a mark on you. And so this is about releasing that and getting rid of that. So you still see your imprint here. I can still read codependent relationships, even though it may not be currently in my life. I'm still trying to rid myself of that last bit of energy, the struggling with the coworkers, the comparison. Rip the page out of your notebook. I'm not going to do this here because I'm inside um, and not set up at the place to do this right now, but go outside or if you have um, a special fireproof container or something like that, a cauldron, whatever, and burn it. Burn the remnants. I'm releasing the remnants of this pain. I'm releasing the remnants of this trauma. I'm releasing the remnants of this energy, of the situation, of the circumstance from my life. And let it just burn away <laughs> and fly away. Um, you can do this on December 31st on New Year's Eve if you like. Um, you can do it according to the moon phase. You can do it whenever you want. Um, but it's just a quick, short little video on releasing the remnants of 2016 on anything that's no longer serving you. Um, if you liked this ritual, if you think about trying it, please let me know and comment below on how it works for you. Um, it was just a little something that my guides gave to me as I was drifting off to sleep and I wanted to share it with all of you. So I hope you all have fun um, this new year. Be safe out there um, and, and get busy releasing the remnants that are holding you back. Let's start a whole new nine year cycle with all of this stuff behind us. So I'm Arielle and this has been Maven Unmasked. Bye.